all right guys so now we're outdoors with the generator uh, you always want to be outdoors with it especially with it running uh, due to carbon monoxide poisoning risks so what I'm gonna be running out here is what I normally run in the yard uh, a generator this size I always use for this hedge trimmer and this hedge trimmer uh, takes three amps of power it's well within the range of this uh, this generator so I expect this to run uh, but I have some that are close to the rated load of 7.5 uh, amps this sawzall or uh, recip saw uses 6 amps of power I don't know if you can quite make that out and we also have a hammer drill here which also uses 6 amps of power now I've had this for a number of years and the stickers kind of messed up but uh, 6 amps at 120 volts and as you can see pretty beefy drill big motor hammer drill option and I've got a uh, 3 quarter inch brand new spade bit on there and we're going to drill into a uh, little piece of wood to see if this generator can handle that under load and finally this is the big test this is one of those outdoor blower vacs so it blows leaves and sucks them up and it is rated for 12 amps so this generator has a maximum of 7.5 amps 12 amps I'm not too sure if that's gonna run off of it uh, but we'll try and if it does overload you know that's perfectly fine because this generator it's only rated for seven and a half amps so let's start the unit and I've got my kilowatt p3 meter tied into a 25 foot extension cord and another 15 foot extension cord and we'll run these loads So you can still hear me over the generators. Fairly quiet even this, in this confined space. We're at 122 volts, 60 hertz, a power factor of one, right where it needs to be. So let's start this grill and see what happens. So let's go back to voltage. See what watts we're drawing. See it ramps up. Let's make sure it still maintains 60 hertz. And then let's test this guy under load. So, got my three quarter inch spade bit. Got my wood here. And We're in watts. So my uh, chuck wasn't tight enough, but we ended up using about 600 watts. Generator handled it just fine. Next we've got our recip saw. More important to look at the watts here. Yeah.
so we've got our uh, three amp hitch trimmer perfectly within the uh, parameters of this generator this is why I use all the time at least once a week That works perfectly fine. So finally, uh, at least before doing the fridge, we have our large overload. This is rated for 12 amps of power. And I don't know if it's gonna run or not, but we'll see if this will run. So, as you see there, it ran for a second. Our overload light is on. And that's what I expect. That's well over the generator's rating. Um, it will not run things well over its rating. It has a safety. And I'm actually glad it did that because in some cases, some generators, more traditional ones, allow you to overload them you can damage the wiring for the plug in the generator as well as the windings in the engine so uh, to reset this guy we just have to restart the engine so let's go ahead and test the fridge out <laughs> 